So the mainstream media supposedly has a liberal bias and MSNBC is essentially supposed to be the left wing equivalent to Fox News. They're supposed to represent the ideals and philosophy of the left, but they obviously don't do that. In fact, most of the time, they just downright shit on candidates who are actually progressive. They openly pretty much have contempt for Bernie Sanders, and the late Ed Schultz exposed all of this before he passed away. When he tried to cover Bernie Sanders in 2016, the president of MSNBC called him and told him not to cover Bernie Sanders' campaign launch. It's five minutes to air, and I get a phone call from Phil Griffin, you're not covering this. I said, Phil, Bernie Sanders is announcing he's running for president. He's going to be a president. I don't care. You're not covering this. They just want to defeat Bernie Sanders at any and all costs, even if that means smearing him, bringing on guests who will lie about him because their goal as a corporation whose motive is to increase profits is to defeat Bernie so that way their corporate advertisers feel more comfortable. So what I'm going to show you is a guest who's going to come on MSNBC and just straight up lie about Bernie Sanders, and she's going to admit that her analysis is based on her feelings, and you're going to see no pushback. She's not going to get cut off and corrected. She's going to continue to espouse misinformation uninterrupted. Take a look. I think, you know, having... Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren next to each other will really highlight, because for me, as, you know, again, I'm not the political analyst here, but just as a woman, probably considered a somewhat moderate Democrat, I, Bernie Sanders makes my skin crawl. And I can't even identify for you what exactly it is, but I, I see him as sort of a, a not pro-woman candidate. And so having the two of them there, like, I don't understand young women who support him. And I'm hoping that having him next to her will help highlight that because those are the people that I, if I were her, I would want to say, well, why are you supporting him and not me if you're going to choose between the two of us? They're not even trying to hide it. They don't even care how outwardly biased they're being. They just want people to bash Bernie Sanders. That's their agenda. All of the MSNBC hosts dislike Bernie Sanders. And so, of course, they're going to bring on guests who also dislike Bernie Sanders. Like, if you can poll them and get their take on who they're supporting and who they don't like, I guarantee that most MSNBC hosts would say, I dislike Bernie Sanders the most. And it's because they know that they, they have to toe the line for their employer. I mean, Zerlina Maxwell was right there. I know that she doesn't support Bernie Sanders, but if you want to be taken seriously as a political analyst, wouldn't you at least in good faith say, look, maybe this isn't the right way to go about criticizing Bernie because I have defended candidates who I don't even support. When Pete Buttigieg was attacked by the far right because they fabricated this claim that he sexually assaulted someone, I defended Pete Buttigieg. I literally posted a video denouncing that. Like, if you're going to criticize a candidate, you should base it on policy. So you think that someone would call her out, they can say, I don't like Bernie, but here's the policy reasons why I dislike him, X, Y, and Z. But nothing. So let's get to her argument here. She says, quote, Bernie Sanders makes my skin crawl. I can't even identify for you what exactly it is, but I see him as sort of a not pro-woman candidate. Okay, so since you are choosing to not talk about the facts and we're just talking about feelings, allow me to interject with my feelings. Maybe the reason why Bernie Sanders makes your skin crawl is because you're anti-Semitic. Maybe you're the one who's actually a bigot and you're just hiding behind your bigotry by claiming Bernie Sanders must be misogynistic because that's the way that I feel. Now, of course, again, this is all just hyperbole. I'm obviously being facetious here, but this is what happens when you get down to the level of just smearing someone based on your feelings and you have zero facts to add to the argument that you're making. I mean, this is what you open the door to. I'm just playing by the rules that you established by criticizing Bernie Sanders in your fact-free rant. Now, the way that she basically set this up is she said, well, you know, if you see Bernie and Elizabeth Warren side by side on the stage, then maybe this will demonstrate to people why they should support Warren. And if I were Warren, I would ask, 
why are you supporting him over me? So in her view, it's the responsibility of voters to prove to the candidate why they do or don't support them. See, this is one thing that I don't get with moderates. Like, they don't believe politicians have to earn your vote. Now, I'm not saying that Elizabeth Warren is bad. I think she's a fantastic politician, but is she as good as Bernie Sanders? No, and it's not even close. There are things that Elizabeth Warren can do to show that she's a leader and not a follower. She can easily one-up Bernie and be more progressive than him in a number of ways. She could come out and unequivocally say, I am anti-war, and also I think Netanyahu is a racist. Bernie Sanders called him a racist because guess what? He's a racist. He's overseeing an ethno-state, and he is taking away Palestinian land, and they're treated as third-class citizens. So she can come out and denounce that. She hasn't done that. She can prove to us that she actually does support Medicare for All by withdrawing support for the bills that she sponsored and co-sponsored that aren't actually Medicare for All. Because a lot of people don't know that when Bernie Sanders released the latest iteration of Medicare for All, she co-sponsored that, but simultaneously she introduced her own health care bill that would only reform the health insurance industry. So why would you propose something that's not Medicare for all that works within the confines of our existing system if you support Medicare for all? It's because she's saying, look, I support everything. Now, at the debate, she basically came out and said, look, I support Medicare for all. I'm with Bernie Sanders. Great. Now, take it a step further. Withdraw support for the bills that you supported and sponsored that are not Medicare for all. Prove it to us. Be a leader here. But she's not doing that. She also, to her credit... A proposed cancellation of student loan debt. Bernie Sanders then one-upped her, as you do in a primary, and said, well, I'm going to propose full cancellation. She can now one-up Bernie and say, all right, I'll match Bernie, and I'll cancel all student loan debt, but I'll also cancel medical debt. She can do that as well to set herself apart and be better than Bernie Sanders with regard to a couple of issues, but she's not doing that. Like all of the articles that are coming out with Third Way and Wall Street saying, you know what, if we had to choose anyone that's progressive, we would rather settle for Warren than have someone like Bernie Sanders. What she could do is unequivocally denounce everything that they said about her that's nice and say, no, Wall Street and Third Way, they should be afraid of me too. In fact, they should be more afraid of me than Bernie Sanders. She could easily do this. But she hasn't done that. And again, I'm not saying she's a bad candidate. I think she's run a really policy-driven, substantive campaign. But if I'm choosing the most progressive candidate in the race, I'm going to choose the person who's a leader and not a follower. I'm not going to choose someone who you have to drag along. I want someone to set the debate, not follow along with someone else who said this is how progressive we should be. But I mean, to her, and a lot of centrist Democrats, to be fair, they don't really realize why, if you have two progressives in the race that are this close in polling, you'd opt for the male as opposed to the female. And I get it. I want to see a female president. But policy, that's more important to me. And just objectively speaking, if you are progressive, Bernie Sanders is the most progressive candidate in the race besides Mike Gravel. Mike Ravel's probably the most progressive, but he's not actually running to win. So I support Bernie Sanders. Now, if Elizabeth Warren were more progressive than Bernie, and if I could trust that she'd actually fight for everything that she's saying she wants to implement, I would gladly support her over Bernie just so we can get a female president. But that's not the reality of the situation. We're supporting Bernie because, one, he's more progressive, and two... He has demonstrated to us that he's actually willing to fight and stand up to the establishment. And Elizabeth Warren's actions have dictated that she's not willing to stand up to the establishment. She kowtows to them. Now, for the third time, I'm not saying that I dislike Elizabeth Warren. She's let me down, sure. But, I mean, she's better than most people in the field. So, I'm not saying that she's a bad candidate. I think she's a good candidate. But if we're comparing Bernie to Elizabeth Warren here, which is what this analyst did on CNN, then I'm going for Bernie Sanders because... The policies are what I care about the most, and Bernie is just better. Now, I've told you my response, but I want to share the response from other people because I think that Nina Turner and Cori Bush in particular did a fantastic job at shooting down this uh, misinformation. So David Sirota tweeted, apparently expressing generalized, completely nonspecific and substance-free personal hatred of Bernie Sanders is now considered serious and legit political analysis on MSNBC. 
Nina Turner then responded, saying, Who is this person, David Sirota? What the hell, MSNBC? Do you only invite guests that have disdain for Bernie Sanders? Makes her skin crawl? Not pro-woman? Are you kidding me? And then questioning why other women support him? Please, let's do that dance. I am your dance partner. And I love that because she's basically saying, Look, so you really want to play this game? And have us show you all the times that Bernie Sanders has been unapologetically pro-women, we can play that game. Now, my favorite is a Twitter thread from Cori Bush. She's running for Congress. You absolutely should support her because she's a justice Democrat. She endorsed Bernie Sanders in 2016 and again in 2020. She was on my show. She's just fantastic. Here's what she said because I think she breaks up this myth in the most straightforward way possible. She says, I'm a young woman that supports Bernie Sanders. Him standing next to Warren won't change that. You don't believe he's pro-woman? He gave me, a nurse and Ferguson activist, the platform to tell thousands about the struggles of being a black woman in America. I spoke about the racism and misogyny I was experiencing as a black woman running for federal office. Yep, that's me there at the podium. Senator Sanders makes your skin crawl. People of color work hard every day to dismantle systems that have created a society where people have physical reactions simply by seeing or thinking of black and brown people. It was an ugly thing to say. Circling back, you said that you don't believe he's pro-woman. Three years later, he's still supportive of this regular everyday woman. Make it make sense. Exactly. It doesn't make sense. And the only explanation as to why... Bernie Sanders makes her skin crawl is that she just is probably wealthy and she would benefit by the status quo remaining intact. I mean, she admitted she's a moderate Democrat. That's probably, you know, what she's about. If you're rich, obviously you don't want Bernie Sanders getting in and raising your taxes. Occam's razor, that's probably what it's about, but I don't know. But even if that was her intentions, that doesn't mean that you are justified in just having a fact-free statement about someone when you're on national television. You're spreading misinformation. This is propaganda. But she doesn't even care because Bernie Sanders makes her skin crawl because why would you support Elizabeth Warren when there's Bernie Sanders? Well, maybe it's because since people like you view Elizabeth Warren as more palatable, as a self-proclaimed moderate, maybe that's a reason why we support Bernie over Warren. It's because we want someone who Wall Street and moderates can't live with, who actually will change the system and break up the status quo. And that's Bernie Sanders. He's the only candidate in this race who's willing to do that. And that's why we support him over Warren. So shame on you for lying about Bernie Sanders and basing it off of literally nothing but your personal disdain and contempt for him.